Hi, Stickman here. I'm going to be talking about rubber bands today. Rubber band guns. I'm going to show you how to make one. But first, here's a little uh, like Colt rubber band gun I have. You just can load about seven shots into it. Watch. It's okay, but we're going to make one more powerful than this. Now we're going to take a little simple cap gun. You can buy like a uh, $1 general store or whatever. But take a decent sized rubber band and make it into a rubber band gun. First, you take your rubber band, make it into a small loop on the end, make it kind of even, like this. And see that little hole right there behind the trigger thing? Just set it right in there pretty deep. Then you pull back the trigger. So now it's kind of latched in. And you bring it around, wrap it around the side. To the front, so it. Oh, so I kind of let go on it. So you insert it into the small hole right here. You wrap it around. So then it looks like that. Then you just aim and fire. This one's a lot more powerful than the other one. See, we'll shoot this one and compare it to this one, okay? Okay, so we're going to shoot that one and compare it to the homemade one. So you just pop it around. Hold it up. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Do this. this one's a lot faster and it stings it. Fine. Oh, my brother's over there on the computer. Let's shoot him. See if it works. So we stick it in. Load it up. Oh, it's loaded. It's coming on loaded here. Let's fix it before he notices that we're going to shoot him. And this is not a uh, rubber band gun, it's a cap gun. In a little bit, I'll show you the gunpowder marks. So if it all loaded up, I'll shoot him. What the hell? That hurts! Okay, we got a gun. To prove this is not a real cap gun. Open it up. Uh, the white right there is that's old reused gunpowder. You can just buy this at a general store. Adios.